What are the Gnostic Gospels? The Nag Hammadi Library and Introduction. The Gnostic Gospels are second to fourth century writings, including the Gospel of Thomas, Gospel of Truth, and Gospel of Philip. They were known and condemned by the early church for being outside accepted teachings. They are not considered inspired scripture. As an example, the Gospel of Thomas has 114 verses. Coincidentally, the Quran has 114 chapters. Becoming like Jesus, verse 108, Jesus said, He who shall drink from my mouth shall become like me. I myself will become he, and the hidden thing shall be revealed to him. Peter and Mary, women. Verse 114, Simon Peter said to them, Let Mary go forth from among us, for women are not worthy of life. Jesus said, Behold, I shall lead her, that I may make her male, in order that she also may become a living spirit like you males. For every woman who makes herself male shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. The Nag Hammadi Library The Nag Hammadi Library discovery in 1945 brought these Gospels to public attention. They offer valuable historical information, but were written after the New Testament period, and conflict with it being alternative beliefs rejected by the early church. The already mentioned Gospels, among others, were published and in some cases popularly marketed as lost Gospels. These are not Christian works. Scholars agree that these writings were not produced by the famous Christians to whom the titles attribute the works, nor were they written during the time period in which those figures lived. The Gnostic Gospels were known during the time of their writing and rejected, leaving them outside of the attention of study by most until their rediscovery in the 20th century. Let's examine the Gospel of Philip. The rediscovered Gospel of Philip is a Gnostic text, believed to have been written between the late 2nd to 4th century, but its origin is unknown. The author was likely a Gnostic from that time period, offering an alternative perspective to the traditional teachings of the Church. The early church did not take the Gospel of Philip seriously, as it was not included in the collection of authoritative books. Furthermore, there is no early copy in Greek. It popularized the idea of a marriage between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. This idea is not supported by any credible historical evidence. The Gospel of Philip is not a missing gospel, but a later alternative version of Jesus and the New Testament teachings by those promoting a Gnostic influence quote-unquote, Christianity. The date of the document's origin is unknown because it focuses on the activity of the Gnostic leader Valentinus, who was in Rome around 138 to 158. Scholars agree it was written no earlier than this time. It was likely written later, in either the late 2nd or 3rd century, as part of a response to policies put in place by Valentinus. Summary. Great for fiction. The Gospel of Philip is a Gnostic text from the 4th century AD. It is not a biblical gospel and is not written by Philip, one of Jesus' disciples, but is named after him because he is the only disciple mentioned in the text. It focuses on the sacrament of marriage as a sacred mystery and was mentioned in Dan Brown's book, The Da Vinci Code, as quote-unquote evidence of Jesus' relationship with Mary Magdalene. However, the text doesn't state that Jesus was married to Mary or even romantically involved. The section referring to their relationship is heavily damaged and doesn't imply anything beyond a friendly relationship. The original writing of the Gospel of Philip is dated to the 3rd century AD at the earliest, at least 200 years after Jesus' death. The value of studying the Gospel of Philip lies in understanding early pseudo-Christian heresies or for writing fiction 